Anna played five rounds of golf, and her low score was an 80. The, the scores of the first four rounds and the lowest round are shown in the following dot plot. And we see it right over here. The lowest round, she scores an 80. She also scores a 90 once, a 92 once, a 94 once, and a 96 once. It was discovered that Anna broke some rules when she scored 80. So that score, so I guess cheating didn't help her. So that score will be removed from the data set. So they removed that 80 right over there. And we're just left from the, with the scores from the other four rounds. How will the removal of the lowest round affect the mean and the median? So let's actually think about the median first. So the median is the middle number. So over here, when you had five data points, the middle data point is going to be the one that has two to the left and two to the right. So the median up here is going to be 92. The median up here there is 92. And what's the median once you remove this? Now you only have four data points. When you're trying to find the median of an even number of numbers, you look at the middle two numbers. So that's a 92 and a 94. And then you take the average of them. You go halfway between them to figure out the median. So the median here is going to be, let me do that a little bit clearer. The median over here is going to be halfway between 92 and 94, which is 93. So the median, the median is 93. Median is 93. So removing the lowest data point in this case increased the median. So the median, let me write it down here. So the median increased by a little bit. The median increases. Now what's going to happen to the mean? What's going to happen to the mean? Well, one way to think about it without even doing any calculations is if you remove a number that is lower than the mean, lower than the existing mean, and I haven't calculated what the existing mean is, but if you remove that, the mean is going to go up. The mean is going to go up. So hopefully that gives you some intuition. If you removed a number that's larger than the mean, your mean is, your mean is going to go down because you don't have that large number anymore. If you have remove a number that's lower than the mean, well, you take that out, you don't have that, that small number uh, t bringing the average down, and so the mean will go up. But let's verify it mathematically. So let's calculate the mean over here. So we're going to add 80 plus 90 plus 92 plus 94 plus 96. Those are our data points. And that gets us 2 plus 4 is 6, plus 6 is 12. And then we have 1 plus 8 is 9. And we essentially, this is, so these are 9, and you have another 9, another 9, another 9, another 9. You essentially have, what is this, five nines right over here. So this is going to be 450, 452. So that's the sum of the scores of these five rounds. And then you would divide it by the number of rounds you have. So it would be 452 divided by 5. So 452 divided by 5 is going to give us, 5 goes into, doesn't go into 4, it goes into 45 nine times. 9 times 5 is 45. You subtract, you get 0, bring down the 2. 5 goes into 2 zero times. 0 times 5 is, 0 times 5 is 0. Subtract, you have 2 left over. So you can say that the mean here, the mean here is 90 and 2 fifths. Maybe not 9 and 2 fifths, 90 and 2 fifths. So the mean is right around here. So that's the mean of these data points right over there. And if you remove it, what is the mean going to be? So here we're just going to take our 90 plus our 92 plus our 94 plus our 96, add them together. So let's see, 2 plus 4 plus 6 is 12. And you add these together, you're going to get 37. 372 divided by 4, because I have four data points now, not five. Four goes into three. Let me do this in a place where you can see it. So four goes into 372, goes into 37 nine times. Nine times four is 36. Subtract, you get a one, bring down the two. It goes exactly three times. Three times four is 12. You have no remainder. So the me median and the mean here are both. So this is also the mean. The mean here is also 93. So you see that the median, the median went from 92 to 93. It increased. The mean went from 90 and 2 fifths to 93. 
So the, the mean increased by more than the mean. They both increased, but the mean increased by more. And it makes sense, because this number was way, way below all of these over here. So you can imagine, if you take this out, the mean should increase by a good amount. But let's see which of these choices are what we just described. But the mean and the median will decrease. Nope. But the me mean and the median will decrease. Nope. But the mean and the median will increase, but the mean will increase by more than the median. That's exactly that's exactly what happened. The mean went from 90 and 2 fifths, or 90.4, went from 90.4, or 90 and 2 fifths, to 93. And then the median only increased by one. So this is the right answer.